Is a look like he described Adam praying and and tears coming from his ears. So he described a man. So, but according to your prophet, uh, okay. So what, what does that have to do with what I told you though about the prayer? Though? Okay, what does it have to do with the prayer? The prayer is three times in the Quran. Muhammad yeah. he come with different story. Allah he told him he prayed at two end of the day, and the approach of the night three. Then why Allah later he make it five? Is, is that a joke? Sorry, say that. Say, say that last. What is the more. purpose? What is the purpose? If Allah told him pray the two end of the day, which means in the morning. Purpose. And, uh, okay, and that? when the when the sun set, and then the approach of the night, three time. Okay, why Allah? Uh, why Allah? He changed. It? He found that he's wrong. No, I do not know the purpose of why he. he okay. Told him to let us let us see first. Do you do you really Muslim pray? You don't pray. Do you pray? Maybe you can look at it as how merciful he is he is understanding. Maybe but he, you can but, say he, but he increased it. He did not decrease it. It was three. He made it five. No, I'm talking about in, in the story in the, in the hadith when he goes up to. Uh, okay, so okay. as long as long everything happened is a decree. So did By Allah way, did Allah decree to Moses to say fifty? Can I mention this? By the way, when it, when uh, when uh, when we say five guys, uh -huh. it's actually worded as fifty. So God is showing here a lot of mercy. Oh, okay. So you pray five times, you, you get 50 prayer. Yeah, it's rewarded as 50. Why not 500? That's that's uh, that's how it is. Uh, okay. I, I don't know why. When, you, when you are rewarded 50, what does that mean? Allah will put like in bank some deeds for you? Yeah, we definitely have a good, uh, we definitely have has a good account and a bad account. Okay, we but we just showed you that it's decree. So what is the point? I mean, how stupid is that? If it is a decree at the end of the day, you pray or you don't pray, at the end of the day is what Allah wrote for you, a decree will happen. <laughs> it's a decree that we do not know about. So no, 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 it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. You pray, it says in front of you that the person he was praying to Allah, doing what is a made of heaven, doing. And that there's 90 centimeters between him and Allah or the heaven, and then what Allah decree for him will happen. So what the point of the decree of, of the of the prayer? Nothing. And what kind of a prophet he says to women who will go to hell? If you go to if you give me your uh, uh, your bracelet and your rings, you will not go to hell no more. You can, can you bribe God? Are, are they now better pray people after giving the ring? So if a woman she is a whore and now she give a ring to the prophet, she will go to heaven. Mm -hmm. But this is what you do for a living. Is that okay? It's okay. And by the way, is a business as a whore forbidden in Islam? Sorry, is what? Sorry? Is business, the pimp uh, work, the pimp, is it forbidden in yeah. Islam? Like a man, he yes. make women work for him as whores. Oh yeah, it's forbidden, of course. Where do you get this from? Where do you get from? It's forbidden. It's... it's, it's... Where it says where it says it's forbidden. As I know, it says no. It says it's it's allowed. Correct. Pimping horse, pimping horse is, is a fornication. No. Well, no, with fornication, Islam is okay as long you are having sex with the slave girls. So Muslim, Muslim men they capture women, they force them to into into a sex uh, human trafficking, and this is and this is allowed in Islam, chapter twenty four, verse number thirty three. Yes. Correct. Okay, so you what? capture a woman, you force her to be a whore. In a worse, no, 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 no. You don't just you don't give her to other people. It's your slave. No, you give her to other people. It says here prostitution. Read it with me, and it says force them not, force them not to do prostitution. Which means if they agree, try to make them agree. So if they agree for prostitution, it is halal. And even if you force them, there's no penalty. Allah is all merciful. Can I go up to a woman in the street now, make her my slave, as a Muslim? You can, as long as she is a Muslim. As long as she's what? As, as long as she is not a Muslim. I can go on the street now and make her a slave. That's yes, you can, as long as she is a Muslim. According to Islam, you can. They didn't make the Jews uh, in Medina. Uh, he did. Like okay, who is Sophia? Isn't she? She is one of his slaves. From where though? From what? From what happened? He, he killed her, her family, he killed her husband, he killed her father, he killed her brother, and he raped her half mile away from the house. A half mile away from the house? In yes. Which what, what happened in that situation though? What situation? They killed the husband, the woman she is just a bride. 
He uh, killed the uh, husband. He killed the father. He killed her brother. He killed her oh tribe. God. And then, and, and and Allah, listen, listen. And then he raped her. And a guy was guarding him out, out of his tent when he was raping the women. He was guarding him outside of the tent when he was raping the exactly. Woman? I can show the reference. You know, I don't say things unless I can prove it. Yeah, no problem. I'm talking about what, what did those Jews do that they killed? My friend, they did not kill anyone. Stop lying. That's not true. That's not true. They did not. They did not kill anyone. That, that, that is a lie. My friend, listen carefully. Listen carefully. Your prophet, your prophet is the one who started assassinating the Jews. The story of Abu, Abu Akif, a guy, he is over the age of almost 90. He sent the no. guy to assassinate him just because he refused Muhammad. Your prophet, he killed the women. Her name is Umm Qufa. He, he split her to pieces between two camels when she's alive. She did not go in war. She didn't have an army. She killed and he took her, wife, her daughter and he raped her. Yeah. Yeah. That you're is your prophet. So, so as you see, as you see, prostitution in Islam is legal. I uh, came to uh, uh, attack the Muslims. I'm going to bring you, and then they. they it is your fire. prophet. Okay, hold on. You're a prophet when he attacked the Roman. Did he attack them to convert them to Islam or to get the blonde girls? Oh, uh, your prophet. When he, when he attacked the Romans? Yeah. What do you mean? Did he? Uh, he attacked them for what reason? To bring them to Islam or to get their blonde girls? The prophet gave three choices. This is and another question. And there's no. The prophet gave three choices. First of all, this is another question. A, like he claimed to be right. Before, he before, claimed, before the you know what 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 your prophet says to the Muslims, let us attack the Roman to do what to convert them to Islam. I'll tell you what he. I tell you what he does. Hmm. He gives them three options. He sent letters. He sent letters to Persia and I believe Romans as well. Okay. He told them, either you become Muslim, okay, and follow God's law, uh -huh. or either you pay tax and you live under the under, Muslim under, rules under our rules, shoes, uh huh, uh, or uh -huh. not under our shoes. Okay. Have right. So now, uh, so now I live in America and we are the most powerful country in the world. We will send oh, you alarm. Me. Listen, we will send you alarm. Says we have three hours to accept either you pay as jizya as a dog and you yes. live under our rules or are we are going to kill you that will make it good people right yes so you don't mind if we go and invade saudi arabia and force you to pay us money to stay as a muslim right. ah. as, long, as, long, as long as he, he is the is if he's truly the prophet of god uh -huh. okay we have a we have a prophet his name is mr trump he was sent by a god his name aluha no, hold on. I'm talking. Uh, listen, stay on topic here. Hold I'm on, guys. As yes. long as he is a prophet of God, he can do that. So, a prophet of God, he can attack the neighbors to get the blonde girls. And look here, this is your prophet said, attack the Romans so you can get the blonde girls. Is that true? It's not mentioned in the Quran. This is in the interpretation of the Quran, and this is in the story, and this is in the Hadith. They're always going to bring me interpretation. I'm so, not going to listen. So, to so, but you are the one who said the prophet he sent the letter. Is is it? Yeah. An, is that this is a hadith? It's a hadith. Yes. Okay. So how come you accept that hadith? You don't accept the rest of it? Because I don't know where you're getting your hadith from. I don't know what's. I don't know. I'm, what's, giving, uh, I'm giving a reference. I never said something. Yeah. Without uh, giving the reference. Yeah. Okay. So you have no excuse. Well, I do have an excuse because if the prophet wanted a uh, woman, he would he would have married nine virgins. He only married one virgin. What do you mean one virgins? He slept with many virgins. We do not know how many. Yeah, no, from he married. I'm talking about marriage, marriage. Ah, so you don't count the one he raped? No, you say raped like as if you were there. <laughs> Hold on, <laughs> you say you say only one virgin. She slept with him, correct? Yeah, from what I know, Aisha, yes. Okay, was Aisha a virgin? She was a virgin, correct. Okay, then how do you explain to me this hadith? You can bring me any hadith you want. Well, for go sure, ahead. I bring any hadith I want, why not? Yep, go ahead. Okay, how a woman, she never had sex with anyone before Muhammad, she is a proud... No, no. Hold on, if, I, if, if my wife, she say that I am the best in effing, Wow, she said I'm the best in effing. Okay, now I'm saying to you, if my wife she said I am the best in effing, 
that's been she knew many men before me correct no 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 tell me someone penetrated her say there was My a friend, guy if if I, I she said that he is the best of those who control his penis woman yamliku irabo and he is the best of we have a one who have a desire how she knew so that means she's a, she's not a virgin that's what you're saying well, how she knew that she is asleep in the bed with someone else okay so you're bringing me an obscure uh, way of thinking that uh, what i know to know i'm not i'm not bringing for you if a woman she never have any relationship with any man how she knew that he is the best between all men when it's come to their penises is based is that based in, in, in experience or she's lying read, read the hadith man read the hadith read the hadith read, read the hadith read okay read okay read the hadith okay your prophet was a perverted man when the women they have their menstruation still he want to f them read it it's in front of you here we go let me give you the link hmm. isn't it the quran says and the menstruation is hurt stay away from the women when they have their menstruation your prophet you don't Okay, here's the here's the, here's what it says. Hmm. What he sent me, hmm. he sent me. Aisha said, the messenger of Allah, hmm. peace be upon him, said. Hmm. Uh, sorry, uh, sorry, not said. Sorry, he said the messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, uh, would ask us in the beginning hmm. of our menstruation to tie the waste paper, hmm. the waste wrapper. Sorry, hmm. then he would embrace us, and who amongst you? can have as much control over his desire as the messenger of Allah had over his desire. So okay? a man is embracing women, touching them, fondling them when they have their administration, is controlling his desire. Guys, look how much control he have. And Aisha said, and who of you can do that? Aisha, she has expertise. There's many men, they step with her, and they cannot do that. Otherwise, how she know? Secondly, how she is proud about the husband, he controls himself to the point he forced his wife to push to push a sheet between her legs. She is pushing a sheet so the blood will not come to him. And actually, there's some hadith says that the blood was all over him when he was doing that. So how that is a sign of control of sexual desire when the man he have tons of wives and slaves to sleep with them? Why he wanna jump over a woman? She have her menstruation. So that's your that's your proof she's not a virgin. That's my proof that she is he's, she's the virgin because she's comparing him between him and man about sex. And the second yeah. thing is prove that Muhammad was not controlling himself. And number three, Muhammad is a filthy man because he is even working against the Quran. The Quran says that Mahid is a hurt. Stay from the women when they have their hurt. Muhammad don't follow his own book. Uh, no, he doesn't say stay away. Like uh, he says, do, uh, no intercourse. He's not having intercourse in this. Ah, hadith. so the Quran allow you to fondle your wife, play with your penis with her when she have her period, correct? You can, or you can kiss her. You can hold her breast. You can do that. He was course. not. He was not. He, he was. He was kissing her. Huh? He was kissing her. Of course, you can kiss. Okay. You can do. Well, let us see what the Quran say. And the Quran says, stay away from them. Doesn't say you can kiss them. It says don't even. It says don't even get close to them. No. Uh, really uh, carefully. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, chapter two. The chapter you like. You told me this chapter is the chapter of guidance. Alif lam mim. Read really carefully. ولا تقربوهن حتى يطرحوا تطهرون. And don't even get close to them until they finish the demonstration. Intercourse, my friend, through intercourse. Does the word taqrab, taqrab mean you get close? That the word taqrab mean intercourse or it mean don't get close to them? So hold on, so kick her out of the house is what you're saying? That the, does the word taqrab mean get yeah, close to her or mean intercourse? So, so basically if you're both in the kitchen, mm -hmm. she has to be in the, uh, the next house, for example. Why not? Muhammad, you have 13 houses. Okay, so that's what should happen? Why not? He has 13 houses. That's your logical way of thinking of this. Well, this is not my logical. The Quran says, don't get close to them. 
somebody with a brain understand blood comes from the vagina mm-hmm. so it's gonna be she, and he mentions it here mm-hmm. uh waste paper or waste wrapper mm-hmm. around it mm-hmm. and and he will you do not touch it. you do not have sex man it's very clear okay you so your prophet he have all those women all those slaves <laughs> and now there's a woman she have her period and now he is controlling the hadith says that he is the best who control his desire is that a way of controlling your desire why you don't go to other women she don't have her menstruation he did go to his other woman well it says here he wanted to satisfy himself by the women who have this he had she had menstruation can you show me a, uh, something that shows she's not a virgin man can you actually show me something well, that obviously obviously she is not no that's your obviously no, okay hold husband. on hold on you know have you ever heard of a virgin she say things which is I mean very sexual someone she is shy a virgin is a shy a woman you know a woman she is virgin she will not be speaking you know loud about sex but like you, like your when you want your when your wife your prophet okay do you appreciate your wife with my respect your wife now to go on Facebook and she say my husband Bilal he order me hold on hold on let us see how shameful it is what you what, what we see in front of us do you appreciate your wife to go on facebook and she post a post saying my husband bilal he ordered me to put a sheet between my legs and he fondled me is that a good post of a good woman is that a good post of a woman of a good yes. woman it's it, it yes. is okay yes to, teach, yes to teach the people how to live just like uh, uh, the prophet taught us how to use the bathroom he taught us how to eat he taught us how to do many things and that's something part of life that we a woman need to know it's fair it's good okay so i want you to confirm yeah. that that the women the women who post such a thing yeah uh she is a good woman she's a good woman yes what if i show you that your prophet he said that she is a very bad woman no, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> now he will change his station. Now, okay. Okay, hold on, hold on. So now, now, okay, hold on, hold on. Bilal, Bilal. So if she is a good woman. Do you promise me that you will not change your statement? I will not. I, I promise that uh, anything that a woman teaches of the religion uh -huh. to men or women. Uh -huh. That's a that's an okay woman, uh -huh. and I will not change that statement. Okay, uh, repeat again what you said again. I said any woman uh -huh. who teaches, uh -huh. uh, authentically teaches, uh -huh. sincerely teaches uh, men or women uh -huh. uh, the 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 religion, obviously through uh, not uh, obviously through like uh, how how can I use that word like. Uh, modest ways, right? Modest, not like alone or something like that. Uh -huh. But uh, teaches them uh, uh -huh. about the religion sincerely uh -huh. and authentically. Then uh -huh. that is not a bad woman. So what the woman is speaking about uh, uh, sex with the husband is this is religion. Yes. Why? Okay. So what? So what is the business of the prophet? Because if we did, uh, uh, are, are you saying are you saying that your prophet he did not do his job, and Aisha she was a prophet too? Oh no, the prophet is the one that told them. No, it's not the prophet who told them. Don't lie. It's Aisha. Here, here I said. Where it the says. Prophet ask, the prophet would ask us in the beginning of our ministry. Okay. Prophet, but did the, the prophet, prophet, but did the prophet says to Aisha, go and tell everybody what I did to you? I like I mentioned, she's teaching the people. Okay. Is is, is she the teacher? Is she the teacher or Muhammad? No, Muhammad is the teacher. But okay, the why Muhammad did not say, if you want to have sex with your wife, put a sheet between their legs when they have their menstruation? Okay, he, he probably did say it in other sentence, but this is the hadith that came out. What okay. You, why did Muharir's hadith come out? Okay, here we go. This is your prophet saying that the most evil woman is the woman yeah. she mentioned to others what happened between them in secret. The most evil woman. The the, the 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 sexual acts. It's secret. This is the most secret should be. This is secret between having a, a, a wife and a, you know if, no. if this is if this is not a secret, what is secret then? Why a no. woman? Listen, it says the most wicked among the people of the eye of Allah in the day of yeah. judgment. 
is yes. a man who goes to his wife and she come to him and then yes. he divorces her secret so a man speaking about the secret of the wife they're talking about how he have sex with her and now we will show you the opposite the opposite I, if a woman hold on if a woman she tell the same the most yes. the <laughs> so you're a prophet confirming that women oh. she do that is evil and a man who do that is evil yes okay so okay so let me so how so how how Aisha she did she get did she get a permission from Muhammad to tell them about how they do sex Christian Prince hold on a second uh -huh. uh, uh, my wife last night uh -huh. she she uh, she um, uh, she she uh, like we did we did so and so hmm. last night okay. together did you I'm just telling you that's that's what I did. So now no, no. Did, did you do and so that, and so? That's what's wrong. Okay, you but understand? Hold on, but I should not say do did we did so and so. Can you just say that the prophet uh, penetrated me like this, or did this? But he cannot because I mean, if if he did, she will do because simply now she have her menstruation, so she is telling you what he did. No, do he, you have a hadith where he said the prophet used to penetrate me? Uh, uh, like she used to talk like she talked to another girl she okay said, we will see hold, hold on we will go there don't worry we have tons of uh, we have millions of hadith you're talking to Christian Prince let us see this one you're a prophet you're a prophet he said it clearly that a woman she tells such a stories she is a shaitana she is a devil that's right that's right. Any woman that says my my husband uh, uh, he, he uh, what's it called? For example, I go to someone. I say, hey, listen, my husband, man, he he uh, he does this like mm. this, you know, like okay. he licks like this. He does. Okay. You know, so like, if if a woman she if if a woman she say that my husband he if so good is that okay in Islam? He if so good. Uh huh. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> <laughs> like, like he f so good. Uh, <laughs> like, like, well, yeah. That is, uh, I don't think it's like good if you say like he f so good like that. No. I'm just asking you. Is that okay? No. It's, it's, it's not to say he f so good. No, no. It's okay. Not good. Is it okay for Muhammad? He say that he is so good in effing. Well, it says he's so good. Uh, and he has the strength of whatever that many men. That's what, uh, from what I know. Do you have another one? He's where he said, "I, I, I have." Okay. So did, good. Did, did you just say that your prophet he can f how many women? I don't know how many. Okay. What kind of a prophet he go around and he say, "I can f those women as many as etc." No, that's what that's what he said. I can, I can, uh, I can, I can uh, have the power to sleep with that many women is that the hadith you're talking about i don't know you you, you tell me the hate you're talking about so your prophet he go around and he say that he have a powerful penis no the strength he said the strength right okay but he's talking about strength of his penis right no even the strength of his body no he was also oh, this is uh your prophet he don't have sex with his penis he used his finger maybe no 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 this like his total okay so when you talk not... about the power of Effing, is that involved the power of the penis or his nose, maybe? No, no, the power, the power of effing is... Uh, okay, so finally you say it. Thank you very much. So what kind of a prophet he go around and he speak about how good his penis is? He, he, he actually said that, how good his penis is? Well, you are the one who mentioned the story for me. He said the prophet, he mentioned that he have the power of etc. Not me. No, no, show me the hadith where you said that my penis is so good. It is you, it is you who mentioned to me a second ago that I know that the prophet, he mentioned that he, he can do this and that, correct? No, Okay. I said that as the strength. Strength of, like, of what? In what? Like the strength of... Uh, okay, of, why you don't tell me the hadith? Tell me the hadith, what he said. I honestly, I don't have it up here. Maybe you're better, you can pull it up. No, tell me, remind me. Okay, you, if you give me time, I can try to pull it up. Uh, okay. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. I will wait for you. Pull it up. Christian uh, Prince, uh, can you mind me uh, asking you? All, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at it, but I'm looking for it. But have you been Christian all your life? There's nobody who was a Christian all his life. 
Okay, have you, when did you accept Jesus into your life? Um, you know, I don't like to talk about myself, but I accept Jesus every day. Oh, every day? Every day. Okay. Because every day you have to review yourself, review your life, and you have to be consistent. So a person who claims to be a Christian, you know, he have to go through a life journey. And I can say I'm a Christian just by saying I'm a Christian. I have to review my life every day and accept Jesus every day as my Lord. And this is why we pray our Father Lord in, you know, in heaven. So, you know, we, we, uh, we give him the authority, that's, we, we, which means we, uh, we announce the authority that his authority is over us. And that is something we do every day. Because if you do it once and you stop, that means you don't care. Oh, okay. So to be a to be a true Christian, you have to do it every day. You have to be confessing to Jesus that He is your Lord every day. Okay. And every second. Your prophet, he was busy. Yeah. Speaking about his penis. I'm not find, I'm not finding anything here. Okay, uh, I, will, I will help you. I will help you. Is it yeah, true that your prophet he says that he was the most weak person between mankind in Ephin? He was the most weak guy in Ephin? In Ephin, yeah. He 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 didn't mention that. Did he say that? Oh yeah. Show me. Okay, no problem. And then he invoked his God. Open this link, please, with me. This is your official Islamic website. And then he Don't invoked. Talk. And then he invoked his God. Don't do that. Don't tell me official Islamic website. Is it? Oh, did you just send it or no? Not yeah, yet. here we go. I'm just copying the link. Mm -hmm. All right. So read with me for read for me, Mr. Rabila. Let us uh, have fun with this one. Faidul Qadir, variant number five, page number fifty-four. We can give it to you from any books. I'm just it's the same hadith. Hadith number four six two six. كنت من أقل الناس في الجماع حتى أنزل الله علي الكفيت فيما أريده من سا إلا وجدته. I was the most weak person between all mankind in Ephin until I invoked Allah and he sent me a dish of shir kebab. <laughs> okay, That's, this is the hadith. Okay. I don't know if it's authentic, if it's not, if it's, it's up to you. To... Okay, uh, but, but hold on. What's up to you or not up to me? I mean, what's wrong with you? I'm asking you now. Why Muhammad is speaking yes. about a God he okay. sent him a dish of shish kebab yep. to fix his penis. Yeah. Is that logical uh, for you? I don't. I don't believe this hadith, so no comment well, on that. Well, how come you Muslims? Well, how come the rest of the Muslims believe in it? No, they don't. Well, who said they don't? So why is there? Does it mention that uh, the Prophet had a weak penis in the Quran and he made him strong? Did it mention that? Yes, it mentioned in the Quran. Let's go to the Quran. Okay, let's go to the Quran. Okay. Chapter one o eight, verse number three. People were making people were making fun of the penis of Muhammad, that he cannot make babies, he cannot have sex. Chapter what? Chapter one o eight. Verse. The whole chapter is three verses anyway. I mean, it's just a silly chapter. They call it chapter. Okay. Oh, Al Kawthar, huh? Uh huh. People, they were making fun of Muhammad, that no, no, he no, no, cannot no. have sex. No, no, I told you the Quran. I this is Quran. Quran. This is Quran, chapter 108. Uh -huh. hmm. well, this, so guys, this is what it says in the Quran, right? It says, indeed, we have granted you, O Prophet, abundant hmm. goodness. Hmm. 
So pray and sacrifice to your Lord alone. Hmm. Only the one who hates you is truly cut off from any goodness. Hmm. Indeed, uh, any goodness, hmm. uh, okay, oh, hmm. that's it. Cut off from what? What is goodness? What is that goodness? Okay, now now here comes Christian Prince and he's going to give us the explanation of the, uh, the no. Quran. Okay, yes. are, you, are you saying to me that your Muslim explanation is funny? You told me his penis was weak and you're going to mention in the Quran, you okay. give me this verse. Yeah. What is that? Okay, hold on. Are you saying to me that you're Muslim when you explain those verses, you lie? No, no. When you, when you uh, okay, so I'm, I'm asking you. This chapter is about what? Is it about the penis of Muhammad, a man he accused him that he cannot have babies? Yes or no? In your opinion, it is. Oh, okay. I, I, I did not say my opinion. I said according to Islam. According to Islam, is it about the, is it about the penis of your prophet? He cannot have babies. Yes or no? Granted you, O Prophet, abundant goodness. So pray and sacrifice to your Lord. Okay. Allah, only the one who hates you is uh -huh. truly cut off from any goodness. That's what cut it says. Cut off from what? Cut off from any goodness. Okay, I thought the Quran is clear. What is the cut off? Who is the one who insult him and what he is cutting off from? Well, it says here, who will ab abatar, right? Yeah, abtar. What abtar mean? That's wonderful uh, word. Abtar. Now you can give me your uh, Christian Prince explanation. No, I'm not giving you the word after is the one his penis is cut off. It means it's... Yeah, he's okay, cut so... off. Read, read with me. This is Ibn Abbas. The Seer Ibn Abbas. This is the official government website of the King of Jordan. They, oh are, they, are, they are saying that Muhammad, he cannot have babies, he can't have a children, he can't have sex. So, so clearly, guys, we see in these ayah, it does not say penis at all. But It says penis. He, it says he is abtar. He's cut off. Abtar. Okay, yes. cut off from what? Where is the word good? Where the is the word, word good? good? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. When the Muslim that translated says he is cut off from good, where is the word good? You speak Arabic. Show me the word good. And no, it says cut off. It says okay, cut off from what? What is cut off? What is cut off? Okay. Cut off from what? From what? From what? You tell me. From what? I'm asking you from what? From what? He can't have offspring. He can't have babies. He can't have sex. And here we go. This is confirming what Muhammad said. Are you against that? Muhammad, he said, this is a tabaqat al-kubra. This is way more powerful book than the other books. Actually, the Muslim, they use it to, to refute me in their videos. And which is funny, you know, it says at tabaqat al-kubra, Muhammad ibn Sa'd, volume number eight, page number 192. Muhammad, he said, I was the most weak person between all mankind. And then, in, in Ifim, in Ifim, imagine, until Allah, he sent me down a shish kebab, then I ate and I get it in one, and, and right away, I ate it, and then, and it's have a meat in it, and then after I ate it, it's here, he continues saying, Allah, he sent me Jibreel, and he gave me a dish. I eat from it, and I get the power of 40 men in Ifim. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. So Muhammad himself, he say, not me, not Christian no. Prince. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Muhammad himself, he's, he's saying, I was the most weak person in Ifin. Correct? Mm -hmm. Why he's saying that? It's not mentioned in the Quran, like you said, it was mentioned. So, well, he, uh, But this is your prophet. And no, the Quran confirmed, the Quran confirmed that he's cut off. The people are saying to him, you are cut off. Allah said to him, no, 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 we gave you a fountain in the heaven. And this fountain is white like a sperm. Al-Kawthar, go read it. It's a fountain of very white liquid. What is that fountain? It's sperm? You tell me, I don't know. Okay, Allah gave him a fountain. The guy is talking about his penis. Allah okay. saying to him, I will give you a fountain in the heaven. And this fountain have a white water or white liquid. Okay, what is that? And then the guy, he have tens of kids. How he is cut off? So, and here Muhammad confirming that this Muhammad saying, I was the most weak person on earth. In, if in Why is he saying that to the people? What is, what is the business of the people to know this? Let us say, me or you, it can happen to anyone. You have a right. sexual problem. Okay, so what is the problem? Why why he go around and he tells such a story? Do you really, Bilal, do you really be, Bilal, believe that your God, he sent a dish of shish kebab to his prophet to fix his sexual problem? Do I really believe that? Yeah. 
It's not mentioned in the Quran. It's mentioned here. This is your prophet hadith. It's not mentioned in the Quran. The one who's talking is your prophet. Stop, stop telling me is not mentioned in the Quran. Nothing is mentioned in the Quran. Is the, is the Quran mentioned? Is the Quran mentioned the 50 prayer you mentioned to me? Well, no. But you no, mentioned it to me. You see, well, Bilal here, you are you, you are being hypocrite, Bilal. So when you mentioned to me the 50 prayer, it's not in the Quran. The Quran says three. So what you do when you want to accept the hadith, when you want to spit at it. So I post the link for everybody in the chat. They can use Google Translation. And now, in the, hold on. I will give you the link. You speak Arabic. You have no excuse. I encourage you, Mr. Bilal, to translate for us. Here we go. This is the reference. I'm not making things up. This is the reference. Please read for us. Read for us. I will, I will use I will use Google Translation. If you if you refuse to read for us, you are forcing me to use Google Translation. So do you want to translate to us or no? No, no. I will I will read. But I gotta okay. just explain to the people that mm -hmm. you told me that uh, cut off the penis is mentioned in the Quran or he. So what is cut off? Okay, hold on, guys. It's not about it's not about his penis. It's about what? He was weak. You said he was weak in his penis. So show me where it says that in the Quran. You couldn't show me that. Well, you did not show me. Okay. The order, no, because the stupid Quran did not get He stopped. That's it. What I will do. Is that my fault now? When so, we say somebody so, is cut off, what is cut off? They are saying to him, his, they have no penis. Okay. I'm going to say now you are cut off. You, you tell me, what does that mean? Cut off? Yeah, you are cut off. I'm saying to you, you are cut off. Now, what do you think okay. about that? What I'm saying? Can I read the whole thing? It says, Inna atainaka. We have given you al -Kawthar. Okay, al is it. a fountain in heaven. What does have to do with cut off? Okay, you tell me. Hold on a second. Hmm. On a second. Hmm. First of all, he's talking about the time when we go to heaven. Okay. Hmm. Verily, we have granted you al uh -huh. So, your so, so God and, and, and sacrifice. Inna uh shaniyaka -huh. al uh -huh. For he hates you he will be cut off from hmm. Hmm. obviously the kawthar so the because person the, so the, the person he said to muhammad you are cut off allah said to him no he is the one who's cut off <laughs> uh, uh, okay uh, Bilal, read for me the, the website i give you please does it say there that i was the most weak person between mankind in ifin it doesn't open to be honest with you. I'm clicking it. It's it clear. It says uh, it says oops. Like it says. Uh, maybe many people uh, open this. This website sometimes go down. But anyway, it's open in front of me. I use Google Translation. It says here. I can give you the text in Arabic. Hold on. Let me copy the text for you. Uh, and you translate for us. Hmm. I will copy. Cut off from Al Kawthar. Uh -huh. Anyways, you can't tell me that the, the Prophet's uh, penis was weak in the Quran, man. Uh -huh. Just show me a clear ayah, man. Oh, show, show me, me a clear, clear ayah. Well, this is a clear ayah. <laughs> you, ref clear you, ref ayah. you refuse to be clear. <laughs> you are the one who's <laughs> refusing to be clear. And, you know, I'm supporting, I'm supporting what I'm saying with your hadith. You know? Yes. Muhammad, he has a problem. People yes. making fun of him. People say he oh. cannot have sex. People His say brother. he cannot have kids. People say, say if he is really from God, why is God? He cannot fix his problem. And now Muhammad, he come with a solution. Read for me. I just gave you the text in Arabic. And I have it here in Google Translation. <laughs> what, you don't like a shish kebab? Do you have anything <laughs> against it? This is the mercy of Allah. The prophet penis is not working. Allah, he go to the kitchen. Allah, he go to the kitchen. He made a shish kebab dish. He come back and he say, Prophet Muhammad, don't worry. I send you a dish of shish kebab with Jibreel. I should not debate someone who, who spends his life. Uh, and he does he does a good job, actually, Christian Prince. I want to just mention that. Um, uh, and I, I do not spend my life doing that. So it's, it's, it's really not the spot for me. But... I only came on here to speak to him, talk to him, see where his brain was at, and everything like that. And he, he obviously is, uh, you know, he he has his point of view, which mm -hmm. it's, it is what it is. I, I cannot. 
obviously change anyone's yeah, point shish of kebab, view. you know, it is what it is. Shish kebab. A prophet, he go around and he talk about the power of his penis. How do you explain yeah, to me? How do you explain to me that there's a prophet of God? He go around with the power of his penis to talk about it. What, what is that? What is that telling you? But when it comes to the six articles of faith, of basically the prophet mentioned the pillars of faith. He what cannot... is the pillar of faith? There's nothing. There's no such thing. I showed you. Islam is based on destiny. But Actually, even... even the pillars of Islam is based on the destiny. Can you deny that? Believing in God. Can you deny that? Can you deny that? That, see... that destiny. Can you be... can you can you deny that destiny is the major belief in Islam? And and the Torah. And can the... you and... deny that? I want an answer, Bila. Don't jump. Destiny, correct? So what pillar of faith? This is your uh, destiny. It's a stupid religion. So it's a destiny that Allah, he made Muhammad penis doesn't work. It's a destiny that Allah, he make him this, commit sin. The, is it's it? childish to talk like this, man. It's, it's childish. If you're going to de debunk the monotheism, the, 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 the I, I, ju I just did. I just showed you. You said you are monotheist. You are not. Allah, he said, if you want to take a wife, he will take it from us. How Allah is one, he will take a wife from us. What you did, you jump over it. So we debunk it. You know, you Muslims are mushrikeen, you are kuffar. You cast a black stone, claiming that a stone will erase your sin. No, no, we don't. Who said that? What do you mean? So why you kiss the stone? Kiss the... I lost you, Milan. Hello? Hello? Yeah. Yeah. So, so are you saying that the one who believe that the kissing the stone erased your sin is a false teacher? What did What did Omar bin Khattab say when uh, when people when uh, about kissing the stone? What no did he problem. Say? What he said? Tell me. He said, if it wasn't for the Prophet uh, to kiss you, we would never kiss you. Okay. And why the Prophet kiss it? Okay. That's that's. Why did the Prophet do many things? Why did he kiss it? This is a, a, a sunnah of the Prophet. Why did he kiss it? I don't this know. This is the question. I'm asking you why he kissed it. I thought Islam is uh, Quran is the book of guidance. Does it say in the Quran to kiss the black stone? Not a Muslim scholar. You see, like you are the one who said to me. You are the one who said to me the Quran is the book of guidance. I'm asking you. I'm asking you. I don't care if you are a scholar or not. Simple question. You you live in Saudi Arabia. Did you kiss the black stone yet or not? I did. Yes. Okay. So why you did it? Because the Prophet did it. Okay, why the Prophet did it? I don't know. So you Muslims are crazy people, you do things, you don't know why? That's not true, no. Okay, I said to you that kissing the black stone, the purpose of it to erase your sin. You said no, who said that to you? There's, no, there, I, there's a big I, shake, he said that, I can show you the video, a big shake. He says if you kiss the black stone, if you touch the black stone, it erase your sin. Does it say it in the Quran, my brother? Does it say so, it in the Quran? Are you Just... saying the Sheikh is an idiot when he said that? I am saying that I don't trust anybody except the Quran. Okay. Only. Are you saying he is wrong and he is being silly when he said that? Because why he's saying that if you touch the black stone, it's a racial sin? Christian Prince, Christian Prince, are my words not clear? No. It's clear. The I, Quran, uh, I believe it 100%. You can tell me Sheikh or Fulan or Fulan. Okay. I, I do not care about them. Oh, he's a he's a big Shia sheikh. I don't care Shia Sunni, uh, Kelbi, whatever. I don't care. So, so okay, so they are wrong. Do you believe? They, okay, so so do you believe? Do you believe that this is wrong? If somebody says touching the stone erase your sin, do you believe this is wrong? Uh, if, if it's not mentioned in the Quran, I, I don't I don't believe it. Okay, is it wrong or not? I don't know. If it's wrong or not. So why you don't want to believe it? So there's nothing wrong with it then. Is it wrong or not? Okay. I'm telling you are you feeling the... are you feeling that if you kiss if you touch the stone and you think it's erase your sin, do you think that this is paganism? Do I think that if touching the stone erase the sin, do you think this is a, a clear sign of paganism? If somebody believe in that. Paganism? Uh, I would say more possibly uh um, well, paganism. I don't know. Like, I don't know. What, like, it's not something that uh, I know. Who who forgives sins is God. Okay. Who forgives sins so, is God. So if if somebody <laughs> said, if you touch the black stone, your sin is erased. Is he being pagan? Is he wrong? Is he stupid? What he is? If he touch the black stone, 
Yeah. And it erases his sin. Yeah. I'm going to tell you, and mm. I'm sorry to say it again. Mm. I don't know. But uh, you, you use your brain for a second. If there is a belief, say belief, this belief, oh. belief, that if you touch this stone, touching it, erase your sin. Is that a good belief or pagan belief? What was wrong? Did I, but did I mention to you, like, the stone itself? Mm. Something I don't even know. I I don't know a full history about and stuff like that. I it's don't not know. the question. I don't care if you know history or not. This is not yes. about the birth certificate. It's not the topic. I'm talking yes. about if somebody says to you, you go to the mosque and then the sheikh he says, if you touch the black stone, it erases your sin. Is that wrong? Yeah, that's wrong. Yeah, that's wrong. Thank you very much. The one who said that is your prophet. The one who said that is your prophet. Yes, and the hate in front of your eyes. Here we go. I'll give you the link. Go ahead. Here we go. Yeah, so it's a reward, right? What reward? It says it erase your sin. What reward? I said I heard the messenger of Allah say touching uh -huh. them will uh, touching them erases sins. Uh -huh. And I and and I and I heard him say, whoever circum circumambulates seven times, mm -hmm. it is like free slave. Yeah, so you don't have to free a slave. Just go around the black stone seven times. That's it. And then if you touch the black stone, erase your sin. And you are the one who told me it's wrong. It's pagan. All right. So the reference for this one is Surah An Nisa'i. It's not from uh, Bukhari or Muslim. So, my, my friend, my friend, my friend. It, and, and you say it is good. Is, it's a good hadith. It's a good hadith. It's a good hadith for who? For you. <laughs> no, 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 for you. Okay, here we go. It says Hassan. What Hassan mean? Uh, Hassan is for who though? Who? Oh, okay, like, for the Muslim. This is the Muslim website. This is why the viewers will always be confused because you don't bring it from the Quran. The hadith from the Quran. No, the black stone, touching a black stone in the Quran okay. uh, takes away your sins. But Show me I told... the Quran where it says touching a black stone or the two corners so of the Kaaba. So now anything your prophet, he said in the hadith, according to you, if it's not in the Quran, it's, uh, your prophet is a liar. Uh, 